hello, hello, and welcome to Goosey Games. We are playing some more Talos Principle today. This beautiful, gorgeous game. I'm back here in the first section because there is still a star somewhere around here, and I have not found it. And I got uh, some insight from a friend as to where it might be. So... I'm going to try and find the place he was talking about and uh, see if I can't get that star before we move on to the next place. So, when I find something, I'll be, I'll be back in just a second. Looky here. I, I don't know what this does, but I found a switch. So, so what did that open? Oh, it opened this gate. Okay. All right. So what is in here? Let's see. Oh look! A star! Do you see the star? Hi, star! Okay, we just have to figure out a way to get it now. Uh, so we need a jammer, or we need another way around. So... It's just a wall. That's the way we came from. Um, thing I can't climb. A little space with a headless statue. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, okay, so we found the star. How to get it is another question. Because there appear to be no gemmers in this area. Carefully searching all of the corners. Let's just... Nope, it won't even let us past. Um, okay, so where, where are we? Can we get it from the other side, maybe? Now that we know it's there? Let's, let's go look. Whoa. Nope, that goes quite a ways around. Okay, that pillar, we'll look for that, that tall pillar. So it should be... This way, there's the pillar. So is it in here that we can... Okay, there's a jammer. And there's the pillar, so the star is... right over there? I wish I could see. Um... Huh? All right. Can I? I guess I can't take that jammer with me. Maybe. No, because it won't go out that door. I mean, right? Because we can't... Uh-huh. Yeah, it doesn't come with. So... Maybe 
maybe there's an angle I can get from that other jammer. Because the thing is... I mean, maybe this is the wrong way to go about it. There doesn't seem to be a way to climb up onto these walls anywhere. Although that would be nice. That air ball is going to eat me alive. Um, can I put it on the wall? Can I jump on top of it? Can I get up here? No. We might have to go ask for help. <laughs> okay, yes. So... The jammer is literally on the other side of this wall here. Oh, man. The statue, you got anything to say? This place is so ancient and lonely. Yeah, see, right? It's right there! Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go ask for help. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I found a way to get back here, see? And I used this ladder to go over the wall and and disable uh, that again. Which, which means... Uh, I have a jammer, and I think I think I can bring it this way. Is this the way? Uh, maybe. And use. Yes, I can. Oh my gosh! I figured it out. I didn't need my friend's help after all. I just wandered around a bit. And now I can get the star. Do, 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 do. Woohoo! Star got. Achievement unlocked sigils are not enough. They're not. We want to get all the things, right? I'm going to take this little jammer. It might come in handy later, and so I'll leave it somewhere. I wonder if I can take it into the temple. Maybe. See, like, here's another caged area that I don't know how to get into. But that's okay. Do, 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 do. So let's go back to the temple portal shiny thing. Wow, it's shiny. Oh, nope. See, there's a door. So we'll just leave the jammer here so we can find it again later. Although it'll probably you know, reset or something, but I know where to get it now. So if I ever have to come back here for anything, I will have a jammer to use. Let's look at the signs. Yay, we got the star! Look at that! So good! Okay, let's go check out the second area now. Okay, so here we are back in the temple, and we're going to go back in the second area. There are three sigils to find, and a star, so let's go find them. Okay, now last time we already talked to the MLA at this computer here, and this just looks, I mean, look how gorgeous this is. It's so open, I don't even know what direction to go first, really. Um, so let's... Whew, okay, there's signs. Go this way for one sigil, that way for another sigil. Or two more of them. Here's a nifty uh, col Colosseum. No, amphitheater. I know words. Eh, whoa, what was that? Did you guys hear that? The 
Now here's the shiny thing that I'm going to go step in and uh, see what it, oh, it looks like an envelope. So maybe this will give us some information about the story going on here. So here when we go. When I was a little girl, Ooh. one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule, write letters to the future, so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now, bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Did you see that glitch right over there? Woohoo! We can climb! This is cool! It's a nice place, you know, you get to explore all the things. You can look over. Oh, there's so much here to explore. Are these all little islands? Is that why? I don't know. Let's keep it in... I kind of want to, like, explore everything and then do the stuff I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Wait, was there anything... See? That sound... What is that? I don't know. Look for any messages on walls, perhaps. Whoa, so bright. Places to go over here, places to go over here. Just want to check. Whoa! Oh! Hi, who are you? Let's follow them. Oops. Whoa. That was weird. Now will that just rip well they're not there anymore. So what were they doing? So I'm not the first one. Okay, okay, let's be let's be system Whoa! Seriously, that's kinda those glitches are kind of freaking me out just a little bit. Let's be kind of systematic about this. I don't want to miss anything here. Fun little alcove. Ah. Well, I'm going to keep looking around. If I find anything interesting, I'll be right back. Although, I kind of think... Oh, we went all the way around the Coliseum. Okay. So let's keep going around. Um, I think it's all kind of interesting, because I haven't seen any of this before, you know. And so it's just... Places to hide, there are things to see. Whoa! And I can't steer when I'm walking. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, and that's the way I came before. Huh. It's over here. Oh, the beach. So 
So there's another island over there. Can we go swimming? Am I waterproof? I don't know. Can we go over to that other island? No, we don't swim, we sink. Oh, we can swim, cool. Whoa! That's creepy. The voices in the water. <sighs> okay, so we can't swim. Or at least we can't go over to the other islands uh, through the water. We have... What is over here? Oh, there's the... There's those computer thingies. This one has, looks like a more, um, slightly advanced casing, at least. It's blinking at us. Should we see what it has to say this time? Airlog, the human machine, ARG solutions. <laughs> okay, let's check the airlog first. Cannot load archive, Milton John. John Milton. Milton Library Assistant. The, that day I oft remember when from sleep I first awaked and found myself reposed under a shade on flowers where much wondering where and what I was whence thither brought and how. I'm pretty sure that's an excerpt from Paradise Lost which I read in college and obviously didn't memorize but John Milton and the the style is is similar. So that's that's interesting. I wonder why that's the error log. Why is that the error log? I mean, it's obviously an error that we can't load it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the human machine. Topic number three. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Well, that's me. I discovered that pretty early on. That says Ian. Oh. Uh, your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. A. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? B. Does your understanding of the world itself change? C. Do you reveal the information to others or do you keep it to yourself? Why? Fifteen to two... 1,500 to 2,000 words. The 26th is the final deadline. No extensions will be granted. Submit via email or blah, blah, blah. So it's a homework assignment. It's an interesting question, really. How would you know? Well, first off, how would you know you were a machine? I guess if you, you know, broke a bone and it wasn't blood and bone, I don't know. Interesting thoughts. I shall not, you know, take up the time on the video ruminating about them. Uh, Arg Solutions, subject, grrrr! <laughs> All these calm people are driving me mad. Oh, this is from Bob Ravosky to 108 recipients. Wow, to like everybody in his email. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity. Though these latter-day Gautamas are 
at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they going to do? Shoot stuff? Though I have to admit the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Glitch. Anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. Well, it's, it sounds like my initial theory is still uh, on point. Um, okay, there's no other options for me to mess with here. That this is a post-apocalyptic type of situation. And this is possible artificial intelligence recreating itself in its own image. Um, ooh, sign. It says nothing. Hmm. Well, that's not helpful. You know, I forgot to time this. I have no idea how long I've been playing. So let's call the episode good for now. Uh, the next one I'll be doing some more exploring, and next time I'll time myself so I don't make it uh, too short or too long. As always, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time on Goosey Games. Bye-bye.